एवरी वन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट टू ऑफ यूनिट इलेवन दैट इज टाइम एंड इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल बी डूइंग द एडिशन ऑफ टाइम सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज ऑफ एडिशन सो वॉट वी हैव टू एड फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स थर्टी एट सेकेंड्स एंड थर्टी मिनट्स फोर्टी टू सेकेंड्स सो वी हैव टू एड मिनट्स एंड सेकेंड्स सो वी विल राइट हियर ऑन द टॉप मिनट्स एंड सेकेंड्स देन फोर्टी फाइव under minutes and 38 under seconds then we will take the second term that is 30 we will write under minutes and 42 under seconds and now we will add now here we are adding time not the numbers so you have to keep this thing in mind that we are adding the time so we are adding here seconds so we know that 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds so you can write it here One minute is equals to sixty seconds. It means your seconds should not increase sixty. Uh, If it will be sixty or more than sixty, then you will subtract sixty from seconds, and whatever answer you will get, that answer you will write here, and that sixty seconds will just uh, get carried over here in the form of minutes. That is one. Okay, because one minute is equals to sixty seconds. So from here, if we are carrying forward sixty sec, uh, sixty seconds. So in the column of minutes, it will be written as uh, minutes. Okay. So let us add thirty eight seconds and forty two seconds. So it will be eighty seconds. But we can't write here eighty seconds because maximum we can write up to sixty. But sixty also gets subtracted. So in the seconds column, the number should be less than sixty. So we will write the answer eighty here, and we will subtract sixty seconds from here. So answer is twenty. So we will write here twenty in the column of seconds, and this sixty seconds that we have subtracted. Subtracted from here, this will be carried over to the minutes column, but in the form of minutes. So sixty seconds means one minute. So one minute will be carried over here. Fine. Now we will add the minutes. So here five plus one is six, and four plus three is seven. So seventy six minutes. Our final answer will be seventy six minutes and twenty seconds. Now. Number two, seventeen minutes twenty five seconds and twenty nine minutes thirty nine seconds. Again, we have to add minutes and seconds. So we will write on the top minutes and seconds, and then we will put the values. So seventeen under minutes, twenty five under seconds, and from the second term, twenty nine will be written under minutes and thirty nine under seconds. Now let us add the seconds. Twenty five plus thirty nine is sixty four, and we can't write here sixty four. Okay, because the number which will be written here should be less than sixty in case of seconds. So sixty four minus sixty, the answer is four. So here in the column of seconds, we will write four, and the sixty seconds that we have subtracted here will be carried over in the form of minutes. Means one minute under the minutes column. So seven plus one is eight, and eight plus nine is seventeen. So seven we will write here. One will get carried over here. So one plus two three plus one carry will be four. So answer is forty seven minutes four seconds. Next is number three. Forty hours fifty five minutes and thirty seven hours thirty two minutes. Now here we have to add hours and minutes. So we will write here hours and minutes on the top, and then we will put the values under it. So forty under hours and fifty five will be written under minutes. Then from the second term, thirty seven is under hours and thirty two will be written under minutes. Now let us add minutes. Now we know that one hour is equals to sixty minutes. It means the number here under the minutes column should be less than sixty. Okay. So fifty five plus thirty two is eighty seven. So write it on the side. And subtract sixty from it because one hour is equals to sixty minutes. So if the minutes are more than sixty, we have to subtract sixty from it. Okay, not to add, but we have to subtract sixty from it. So after subtraction, we will get twenty seven. So fifty five minus thirty two, twenty seven will be written here. And this sixty minutes that we have subtracted, it will be carried over in the column of hours in the form of one because. Here it is minutes and here it is seconds. So if sixty minutes are there that we have subtracted, 
it will be carried forward in the form of one hour because one hour is equals to 60 minutes now you can add it okay so 7 plus 1 is 8 and 4 plus 3 is 7 it means 78 hours and 27 minutes is the answer now number 4 39 hours 48 minutes and 25 hours 29 minutes so here again we are adding hours and minutes so put the values 39 hours 48 minutes then add 25 hours and 29 minutes now we will add the minutes 48 plus 29 is 77 so we don't write we don't have to write 77 here so write it somewhere and subtract 60 from it so we will get 17 so 17 will be written here but this 60 minutes that we have subtracted from here it will be carried over in the form of 1 hour to the hours column and now we will add here 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 1 will get carried over here 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 carry will be 6 it means 65 hours and 17 minutes now next is number 5 3 hours 40 minutes 37 seconds and 5 hours 26 minutes and 28 seconds means here we have to add hours minutes and seconds so we will write three terms here hours minutes and seconds and then put the values according to the question 3 hours 40 under minutes column and 37 under the seconds column then second term 5 under the hours 26 under minutes and 28 under the seconds column and now we will add we know 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds it means seconds should not increase by 60 if it is 60 or more than 60 we will subtract and then write the answer here likewise <coughs> whatever we will write here should be less than 60 okay because minutes uh, maximum we can uh, have 60 only fine so let us add the seconds 37 plus 28 is 65 which is more than 60 so we have to subtract 60 from it and we will get 5 here so we will write 5 under the seconds column and this 60 seconds will be carried over in the form of 1 minute under the minutes column because 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds now we will add this minutes column 1 plus 6 is 7 and 4 plus 2 is 6 means 67 which is again more than 60 so we have to subtract 60 from it 67 minus 60 is 7 so we will write here only 7 and this 60 minutes that we have subtracted here will be carried over in the form of 1 hour in the hours column so 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 plus 5 is 9 so final answer is 9 hours <coughs> 7 minutes and 5 seconds Next is part 6. It is 25 hours 39 minutes 38 seconds and 14 hours 46 minutes and 40 seconds. So again we will have 3 terms hours, minutes and seconds and the method is same. So write the values 25 under hours, 39 under minutes and 38 under seconds. From the second term 14 under hours, 46 under minutes and 40 under the seconds column now add all of them first of all add the seconds 38 plus 40 is 78 which is more than 60 so we have to subtract 60 seconds from it so write 18 here and this 60 seconds that we have subtracted here will be carried forward in the form of one minute to the minutes column because we know one minute is equal to 60 seconds now add the minutes column 39 plus 46 plus this one will be 86 which is again more than 60 so you have to subtract 60 minutes from it so you can write only 26 minutes here and this 60 minutes that we have subtracted here will get carried forward in the form of one hour in the hours column and now you can add the hours so answer will be 40 hours so final answer is 40 hours 26 minutes and 18 seconds next is part 7 8 days 19 hours and 5 days 14 hours here we have to add days and hours and we know 1 day is equals to 24 hours it means hours column should not have the number 24 or more than it okay so let's add the values after putting them under the days and hours column so 8 will be written under days 19 under the hours and Again, 5 under the days and 14 under hours. Now, let's add the hours. 19 plus 14 is 33. 
so which is more than 24 so we have to subtract 24 from it okay so after subtraction we will get 9 so here the answer will be written 9 but this 24 hours that we have subtracted here will be carried forward in the day, days column in the form of one day because one day is equal to 24 hours if it is the hours column it is written as 24 but if it is in the days column it will be considered as one day now add the days 8 plus 1 9 and 9 plus 5 is 14 so answer is 14 days and 9 hours now next is number 8 12 days 15 hours and 26 days 13 hours so days and hours and put the values under it 12 days and 15 hours then 26 under days and 13 under hours now add the hours and it should not be 24 or more than 24 because one day is equals to 24 hours so 15 plus 13 is 28 which is more than 24 so we have to subtract 24 hours from it so the answer will be 4 hours and this 24 hours that we have subtracted will be carried forward in the days column in the form of one day now you can add the days that is 1 plus 12 plus 26 so you will get 39 so the answer is 39 days 4 hours now next is number 9 15 years 9 months and 24 years 8 months so we have to add years and months so write years and months on the top and then put the values 15 under years and 9 under months then 24 under years and 8 under months now 1 year is equals to 12 months it means months should not be 12 or more than 12 so let's add the months 9 plus 8 is 17 which is more than 12 so we have to subtract 12 from it okay so we will get 5 now this 12 months that we have subtracted here will be carried forward in the month in the form of years in the year column but as one year so one year will be carried forward here so 5 plus 4, 9 plus 1 carries 10. So 1 will get carried over here. 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. So after addition, you will get 40 years and 5 months. Now next is number 10. 30 years, 5 months and 19 years, 11 months. So here again, we have to add years and months. Then put the values. 30 under years, 5 under months and then 19 under years column and 11 under months. Now add the months. 5 plus 11 is 16 which is more than 12 so we need to subtract 12 from it so we will get 4 so the answer 4 will be written in the form of months and this 12 months that we have subtracted will be carried over in the years column as one year so after addition we will get 50 years so the answer is 50 years and 4 months next is number 11 9 months 12 days and 12 months 28 days here we have to add months and days so we know that one month is equal to 30 days so this thing we require fine so write months and days on the top and then put the values 9 under months and 12 under days and then from the second term 12 under months and 28 under days now add the days 12 plus 28 is 40 which is more than 30 it means we have to subtract 30 days from it so this 10 will be written here under the days column and this 30 days that we have subtracted will be written in the form of one month in the months column. So 9 plus 1 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 1 will get carried over here, 1 plus 1 is 2. So after addition we will get 22 months 10 days. Next is question number 12. Ronit stayed 3 years 8 months in Chennai and 4 years 9 months in Kolkata. How long did he stay in these two places? So Ronit stayed at two places, one in Chennai and another in Kolkata for a duration of time. So we have to find the total duration for which he stayed in these two places. So let's find it. Time duration for which Ronit stayed in Chennai, three years and eight months. Duration for which he stayed in Kolkata, that is four years and nine months. Therefore, duration for which he stayed in these two places, we will add and find the answer. So, we need to add years and months. So, 3 years, 8 months and 4 years, 9 months. So, we know that 1 year is equals to 12 months. So, if our months column will be, uh, will have 12 or more than it. So, we have to subtract as we were doing in the previous 
questions. So 8 plus 9 is 17 which is more than 12 months. So we have to subtract 12 months from it and the answer is 5. That answer we will write under the months column and this 12 months that we have subtracted will be carried forward in the years column as one year. So 3 plus 4, 7 plus 1 is 8. It means he stayed in Kolkata and Chennai for 8 years and 5 months. So this was all about exercise 11.2. So I hope you would have understood this exercise. <laughs>